Uh, good morning everyone, welcome to my coaching tip today, Tuesday the 5th of May. There is uh, some daylight at the end of the tunnel at the moment, as I mentioned yesterday, with, regarding golf courses. Apparently uh, on Guernsey they've opened up and Jersey are opening up on Saturday. I know they're island principalities, but that's the direction I think everything is going in at the moment. So the schedule for the week, the tip today I'll go through in just a second. Tomorrow we're going down to the club, as I've mentioned, um, to clean the range and contact people regarding credit card payments. So if you want to do the same, please uh, contact me today on mykennygolf at gmail.com and I'll make sure I call you tomorrow. Thursday and Friday we'll continue the videos and then Friday will be the last one because I'm preparing now to get everything back to the shop putting all the assessments in place and so on. Um, and Sunday will be the draws for the raffles, as I mentioned yesterday. So there's just a few more days to purchase tickets and the account top up uh, offer will also finish on Sunday as well. So that's the schedule. Uh, I'd like to thank all of you who have um, looked at these videos on a daily basis. I very much appreciate your support. Normally in teaching, it's a one-to-one -one situation. We react to the customer's issues. Uh, but obviously these are sort of cold in, in the restricted environment that I'm in at home. But I've enjoyed doing them. I know I haven't been as effervescent as some of you would like me to be. But uh, that's me, I'm sorry. And I hope we'll be back very soon and coaching in our normal environment. So thank you once again. Uh, yesterday in the garden we uh, discussed the horrid word shank. I know I'm not even you know, allowed to mention it, but I have done. And I gave you an exercise where you could put something on the outside of the object ball that if you your club came from outside or came from inside and was working away from you, it would hit the outside object first. Make sure that it is not um, it doesn't harm you in any way if you hit it. Uh, but it's a really good exercise to do. Now the same applies for uh, slicing, which is probably the most common uh, bad shot in golf in terms of the spin on the ball. For a right-hander, of course, the slice is where the club comes from out to in, in layman's terms, or across the ball, in part side spin on the ball, and it's a weak shot. In fact, the, the faster we swing the club, the more side spin is put on the ball, so it's just is even weaker. So that exercise I showed you yesterday, um, you can do for slicing as well. Use, again, something that's not going to harm you. Obviously, I can't do it in here. We're indoors because it's so blustery outside today. Uh, but you can see the principle. So if this was now on, at the driving range or somewhere I could do this, I'd be um, hitting shots from this position here so that the club then is coming in from an inside path. If I come from outside it, it would hit uh, the, the foam or whatever you're using on the outside first. Uh, so if we can attack the ball from the correct angle, then we've got then more chance of putting the right spin on the ball. We're pressurizing the ball uh, to gain as much distance as possible. When we learn other sports, such as tennis, table tennis, uh, football even, we, we learn in a more instinctive way. We, we perhaps gain an armory of shots, maybe not brilliantly, certainly in my case, where we can put topspin on the ball, we can cut the ball, we can try and hit it flat. And I haven't played tennis since I was at school many, many years ago, but that's how we, we learn those games initially until you get to a standard where I'm sure you'd, you'd have proper lessons. Golf is one of the rare sports that we stand there, try and get everything right and try and hit the ball dead straight. Well, to impart 100% backspin on the ball and no side spin is the hardest shot to do. So you'll see on TV when you watch uh, pro tournaments and they have the pro tracer behind which tracks the flight of the ball, that they play with shape. They either start the ball right and draw the ball or they start the ball left like Montgomery or Bubba Watson and, and they fade the ball. They're not trying to hit the ball straight, they're shaping the ball. It's much easier to do that than hit the ball exactly straight. So just think about what you're trying to do. If I was going to put topspin on a tennis shot, and this is what we use uh, down at the range, how would I do that? There's a ball coming at me at 80, 90 miles an hour, and I want to put overspin on it, so I either want to lob the person, or I want it dipping over the net. Again, I probably don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm not a good tennis player. But the principle would be that I want to come from the correct angle, and the racket then would wrap over to put that spin on the ball. Um, if I now relate that to actually holding a golf club, even though I've got a tennis racket on the end, here's the same action. I'm coming in from the correct angle and letting that turn over or release to put that spin on the ball. Obviously, if I came from this angle, from outside it, as already explained with the, the slicing shot with, uh, with golf, then I can't create that shot. If I release the tennis racket, it would go left, so I'd have to hang on to it, and then the, the racket would be left open and would create the side spin that we've already discussed. So just because we've got a small 
head on the end of a long shaft, the principle is exactly the same. If we come at the ball from the correct angle, from slightly from the inside, and allow the club to release over, then that is going to impart right to left spin. It's going to put pressure on the outside of the ball. Back in situ at the uh, golf club, um, I'll explain that in more detail because I intend to continue these videos probably one a week in the future, but in our normal environment. And I'll show you with proper balls and show you how to do this and give you other exercises you can do. So that's it for today. Thank you very much again for tuning in. Uh, as I say we'll be at the club tomorrow, back on Thursday here. If you need to contact me tomorrow, you've got my email address. The shop number is 01903 260718. I'll be there from about 10.30 to probably one o'clock. If you need to call me for anything at all, please do. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.